Hey guys, it's Darren back with you again. Uh, going to continue up on our series on our buckskin uh, raw hide series. Uh, I've got a good hide here. We're going to stretch it out today. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to turn this one actually into a raw hide. Uh, it's been wrung out. Plenty of videos out there, guys, show you how to wring them out. You just wring all the water out of it you can get. We're going to go around this hide and just make little slits every so often and we're just going to tie it to this rack it's just a very simple rack i'll lay it on the ground for you okay you got the hide kind of just laid out on the ground you can see i just have a simple little rack set up and just lashed it together just a square a little larger than the uh, than the raw hide i'm going to come in right on the hide just with my mora and make a little slit all along the edges around the top all the way around this thing and I want to take a rope and tie in between the rawhide and the posts and I'm going to stretch it pretty tight across there to where uh, this thing can dry out and turn into rawhide so uh, it'll take it a few days to dry and uh, uh, get where I want it so this will probably be a multi-part video just seeing how it does and I'll show you the results in another video coming up but let's get this thing strung up I'm just gonna come in guys with some regular uh, bank line this is tarred bank line uh, won't have to cut such a big hole to uh, uh, poke all the way around this thing and I'm gonna start at the top and then I'm gonna start stretching the bottom part of it and then uh, we'll do the sides and go all the way around this thing real quick. I'm going to start to one side. Just poke a small hole. I'm going to put my, bed, uh, my uh, bank line through. And I'm going to tie it off up here in one corner. I'm just going to use a little uh, surgeon's knot to start this with. Then I'm just going to go about a quarter inch into the hide just over because I don't want to waste a lot of hide and this thing is pretty stretchy so uh, <clears throat> you're not really going to hurt it and you're not going to lose a lot of hide but just go every so often poke a hole run your string through We're going to come around this top pole. Through the hide. Back around the pole. And you're just going to keep repeating this process all the way around. I'm going to use uh, four different ropes, or four different strings. One for the top, one for the sides, for each side, one for the bottom. And uh, the reason I want to do that is it just makes it easier when I try to tighten this thing up as it goes, as it dries out. Uh, it will stretch a little bit. And uh, this thing's been given a good ringing. Uh, it's got most of the water out of it. But uh, it's still going to have some moisture in it. Uh, as you can see, it's still kind of pliable. And uh, we're going to dry this out for a couple of days uh, and uh, then see how this progresses into a rawhide. So uh, I'll uh, go ahead and finish this out and I'll show you the finished product after I get it strung up. Okay guys, got this strung out and uh, now it's just a wait for a few days and uh, let this do its little trick. Probably want to go back in and tighten it up as it starts drying out. Uh, 
you can tighten this up just really easy just by loosening one of the strings and re-tighten it. Uh, I'm going to set this up and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay guys, there's the finished product stretched out uh, on a stretching rack drying out. Um, it'll be a couple of days and uh, we'll get back and I'll show you what that looks like. It'll almost be clear, you can almost see through it. Uh, when it when it dries out and uh, we'll show all the many uses that you can use rawhide for uh, this is the same process that you would do in making a buckskin uh, you'd want to stretch it out like this uh, only process being uh, I would brain tan this and uh, then I would work the hide I would just take a uh, take a stick and just kind of go in and just keep pressure on the hide just keep working it and working it and working it in here but there you go, guys. This is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I hope you're enjoying this series on buckskin and rawhide. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for your views. I uh, appreciate everything. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the wood. See ya.